Welcome to Your Daily Dose, a devotion ministry of the Faith Baptist Church of Franklin and Middletown, Ohio. Thanks for joining us each weekday as we share God's Word with you. It's your daily prescription for all that ails you. And now, Your Daily Dose. Hello, it's Doug Krause, youth pastor at Faith Baptist Church in Franklin, Ohio, with another Daily Dose. Today we're going to look at the first part of Psalm 34. This psalm was written by David uh, after he had fled from Saul, who wanted to kill him, and he had arrived in Gath, and he now pens these thoughts. We'll look beginning in verse 1 of Psalm 34, and we'll see uh, a few important points about fear. 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 I don't know what you may be going through, uh, something that you yourself fear, but this does give us good instruction on what to do. Again, verse one, the Bible says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. The first thing we see here is that we have to praise the Lord even when we're afraid. David certainly had the right to be afraid. He has returned to Gath. Uh, This is uh, Goliath's hometown. He certainly is not popular there, yet it is better than being around King Saul who wants to kill him. So the man is actually fleeing for his life. Now, any of us would be afraid under those circumstances. And yet, as he pens this psalm, the first three verses lift up the name of God. He praises the Lord. You know, Oftentimes, we're way too governed by what we feel. We feel afraid, so we act that way. We feel anxious, so we act that way. Uh, Feelings lie to us, and you cannot count on your feelings. And so we must count on truth from the Word of God. And David knew that though he had the feelings of fear, he knew that he could not camp there. He had to give God praise, knowing that he deserves it. The second thing we see here is in verses four and five. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. We see here that uh, David is admitting his fears. He's admitting this unto God. In fact, he's giving it to God. I sought the Lord. He heard me. He delivered me. He's saying here, um, admit when you are afraid. Uh, go to God. In verses 1 through 3, he lifts him up in praise. In verses 4 and 5, he says, hey, I admit it. I need God. You and I need to do that. We need to be willing to admit that we need God. And then we see in verse 6, this, this poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. You know, we need to remember that phrase, cry out to God. There was an article a while back entitled, You've Got to Fear Somebody. And basically it is the fact that we either fear man or we have a reverential fear of God. You can't do both. You can't fear man and elevate him to a godlike position 
and at the same time say that you fear God. It's one or the other. If I truly trust in God, I'll not fear man. But if I fear man, I don't trust in God. We need to actually fear God so much that we don't fear man. And that's what David's doing here. He didn't say he called out for somebody to help him. He said he cried out to the Lord and the Lord saved him out of all his troubles. And finally, we need to know that God does deliver us and he always delivers us through the deliverer. Verse seven, the angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and deliver them. This teaches us again that whatever we're going through, it is the Lord Jesus Christ that will in fact deliver us. Not a man, not a homespun philosophy. Jesus himself intercedes for us. He loves us, he helps us, and we have a true deliverer. So the next time that you're experiencing fear, the emotion, the feeling of fear, Remember these points from David. One, start by praising God. It doesn't seem like the natural response, but it's the right response. Two, admit that we fear. Tell God what he already knows. Thirdly, cry out to him. Ask him for help. Nothing wrong at all with that. That's what he wants us to do. And claim that promise that God does deliver. He did David, and he will you and I. I hope this might help a little bit today. Remember, you're going to fear somebody. Let it be a reverential fear of God, not of man. Thank you. This has been your Daily Dose, a ministry of Faith Baptist Church. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today and click the bell next to the button to sign up for email notifications each time we live stream or release a new video. To learn more about faith, please visit our website, fitinatfaith.com, for more information about our church. Have a great day in the Lord.